Hello everyone, uh, very good afternoon. Welcome uh, to the webinar on Simlia in Life Sciences. Uh, we would like to start the webinar session now and welcome. Uh, uh, I would like to welcome everyone for this webinar on Simlia in Life Sciences. So I would like to give you a brief uh, uh, introduction about EDS technologies uh, before uh, getting into the webinar. EDS Technologies is a 25, 25 years old company focused on PLM solutions uh, and uh, support. So we have been platinum partner for the Soul Systems since uh, since uh, uh, about uh, more than a decade, and we're the largest PLM and engineering solutions uh, provider in India when it comes to the Soul portfolio. And we are a headquarter in Bangalore and spread across 11 major locations across India serving 1500 customers we we are the world leaders and we have we, we are strategically partnered with a lot of world leaders apart from the soul systems focusing into uh, defense and other uh, segments also and we have a dedicated sales support for each and every solutions and uh, we we also have a, a, a robust e-learning portal to provide the latest uh, technologies and uh, solutions trainings to our customers focusing on software and domain particular uh, applications and uh, before going ahead uh, with the webinar i would like to introduce today's uh, uh, presenter mr uh, uh, vignesh naidu who who has been with uh, eds technologies since five years vignesh naidu has done his uh, masters uh, in uh, in Automotive Engineering from MS Ramaya School of Advanced Studies affiliated to Coventry Industry uh, University, UK. And he has been uh, serving a lot of uh, the customers from different segments like automotive, aerospace, life sciences. And he was also supporting the researchers and scholars from different IITs and NITs for their research work across India. Uh, he has a very good hands-on experience in, when it comes to the simulation, uh, medical devices, uh, and uh, uh, life sciences. So, uh, over to Vignesh. And before uh, Vignesh took uh, take over, I would like to have a quick poll co uh, poll question, uh, which is related to this webinar. And uh, yes, a poll question, please. I hope all of you has answered the question. Uh, thanks very much uh, for the introduction, Mr. Barit. And uh, good day to everybody. It's my pleasure to present uh, today's e-seminar on uh, life sciences. And I hope uh, it will be of interest and value to you, uh, whether uh, you work in uh, medical devices or pharma segments or uh, bio, uh, biopharma or combination products and so on. Today's agenda is uh, shown here. Uh, I will first uh, spend a few minutes reviewing uh, this use of uh, simulation in life sciences and a brief intro on 3D experience platform. And uh, uh, again, uh, I'll be talking on uh, simulation in medical devices, pharma biotech, and then I'll introduce a topic called uh, combination products. And again, uh, uh, we also like wanted to showcase our uh, global case studies uh, like uh, drug injectors, drug diluting strengths, and uh, uh, one industry process workflow that is created using 3D experience platform. It's a very good example in terms of uh, this industry process experience and uh, like ADS customer references. Like we do have a very good uh, life sciences customers across India. So we'll be uh, showcasing uh, the case studies or the support what we do to our customers and i'll close it with a conclusion medical devices includes uh, your machines or implants like stent dental knee hip and so on and also the products that are intended for uh, diagnosis and in treatment of any diseases and uh, which does not induce any chemical change in the human body so in other words medical devices typically employ or uh, like employ uh, like uh, mechanical or thermal or electromagnetic and other physical effects. So as such, like uh, uh, due to with uh, like uh, of this uh, typical uh, things, we have seen a very well established uh, usage of modeling and simulation in this segment. Pharma and biotech segment includes chemical and biological agents that treat diseases. 
simulation has long been used uh, in this segment as well to model uh, the drug interactions with human body however uh, in recent years uh, there has been a increased interest in uh, drug packaging and delivery uh, because uh, the uh, like uh, drug makers uh, want to differentiate themselves and they want to enter into the market with a very good product and so on so because of which uh, we are seeing the uh, increased interest in uh, simulations to achieve these new objectives finally a uh, patient care segment uh, focuses on your uh, clinics or hospitals or other institutes where patient care is administered currently uh, simulations in this use uh, like uh, in this segment is very much limited but it is used in uh, like uh, diagnosis or pre surgical planning medical training and patient education we believe that uh, like uh, simulations will play a major role in this segment as well in the future for precision medicine and personalized healthcare that will uh, continue to mature together uh, we can transform life sciences uh, using modeling and simulation tools that are available with us and uh, we figured out like what we can do together the first point is that like uh, you can see on the screen left so uh, the first point uh, is that desol systems have a load board of uh, like uh, uh, technologies and uh, many of those are not being used or in some cases you are not even aware that these uh, kind of tools are available in the market so becoming aware of and uh, trying out the new technologies is a first step that uh, like uh, in helping yourself and also helping us uh, to understand your uh, needs and then uh, uh like uh, we can come up with uh, uh, with a good uh, solution to uh, deliver those into the market as soon as possible so the second uh, is a need to leverage those technologies to consider new methods and reduce your bench test or reduce your dependence on animal testing and finally you can leverage the 3d experience platform to uh, make use of modeling and simulation more visible and more valuable so what does this mean for uh, product development the demands on engineers have increased to realize the product design they uh, they need to analyze large amounts of data to gain insights into the customer needs and translate them into a innovative uh, designs and uh, collaborate with the manufacturing department or uh, your suppliers so that they can come up with a new innovative design so there is uh, the need for a data driven platform uh, like uh, in addition to your uh, product development and wherein like uh, your engineers like need to model the entire system and its interactions and simulate them under diverse usage conditions so the system's behavior is meticulously tuned to uh, like uh, provide a flawless experience and a model based approach is a proven way for this validation all customers can now connect to uh, one single platform that is 3d experience platform and they can leverage their legacy in all platforms using the traditional uh, like uh, your cad or uh, cae model connectors as well as your uh, data connectors that are available from exa lead so this open innovation platform uh, with the data driven and model based apps powers the industry solutions the the main uh, the backbone of this uh, 3d experience uh, platform is a set of tools that uh, provide a consistent interface for all uh, the uh, interested uh, parties to access or review and utilize the simulation data so this uh, shared interface allows you to uh, extend the research of simulation far beyond your uh, core engineering teams to other key business units say for example your uh, product and uh, proje uh, product and uh, your uh, project management teams come together with uh, innovative ideas or you can also like uh, have your uh, sales and marketing team sitting together and discuss about the product and so on so many things can be done on a single platform using this 3d experience it's a very interesting slide because uh, 3d experience platform is used uh, to create a workflows uh, in our uh, industries uh, like uh, for their products so wherein uh, this uh, shows a complete uh, product uh, processing or your uh, product life cycle development from initial stage like uh, from your 
based on the customer requirements, how you came up with a product development or your product design. And from there, your CAD, from CAD to the simulation team, and from simulation team to CAD again, finally to your uh, manufacturing and so on. After completing your product and uh, after entering into the market, what is the status? So you can create a workflows and you can have a clear cut idea how your product is gaining the importance, where it got stuck, where it is delayed, why it is delayed. So each and every information is getting stored on this platform, which is seen by like every uh, person in the company. So if you think of this uh, like uh, like this, the industry solution experience, it will contain your uh, industry process experiences and uh, workflows that are all uh, like about uh, the engineering of a device as a system with uh, your uh, mechanics or fluids and emat and so on. So what uh, will make it different and of a great value to life senses is the inclusion of workflows that allow for the simulation of the device in its operating environment. So therefore, the 3D experience platform and specific process apps, then uh, it, it delivers your uh, necessary process automation, your data management and collaboration capabilities uh, will make uh, overall an effective and efficient capability. So why Simulia, not uh, someone else in the simulation domain? A large amount of uh, simulations in healthcare or life sciences is structural or fluid in nature and in both the cases uh, we see a, a kind of problems like uh, that are uh, very highly non-linearistic and very uh, like a dynamic so in order to handle such kind of uh, things or uh, such kind of uh, complexities we have simulia say for example your uh, your nitinol your nitinol stent subjected to a very large deformations so we have a nitinol material model that is already available in Simulia and uh, it can uh, like a Simulia is again being a non-linear solver. It can handle any highly non-linearistic problems. So in all of these classes of simulation, Simulia has uh, gold standard solvers for accuracy and reliability. So figure on the screen shows uh, you know, the simulation related acquisitions over the past uh, 10 to like uh, 15 years, wherein we can see like a CST software, which is for electromagnetic simulations, FEC for fatigue and durability calculations, topology optimizations done using Tosca, eyesight for parametric optimization, or you can make it, uh, you can use of, uh, for process automation and so on. So these acqu acquisitions along with uh, R&D development are all driven by multi-scale, multi-physics technology vision. The vision, uh, uh, like of course, like uh, it is, it is to offer uh, customers and users the experience of a full integration of all these powerful technologies using 3D experience platform as a backbone and a single user experience. The brand uh, primarily responsible for simulation is uh, Simulia, and its uh, solutions can be organized into following domains, wherein like multi-physics solutions. These are uh, used to model and simulate physical characteristics of products such as structural, fluid, thermal, and electromagnetics and acoustic behavior. These can be modeled using either full three-dimensional high fidelity representation of the products and their uh, environment uh, like, uh, or, or by reducing the order representation such as like a multi-mode dynamics or system modeling. So all these things are done using Simulia Abacus. Image here shows a fluid dynamic simulation to assess the effect of artificial heart valve in a beating heart. So once uh, you get stresses from Abacus, we uh, we take that uh, product or uh, like once obtaining your stresses and strains on a product, like uh, we uh, we have to compute further, like uh, we have to do further examination, like a uh, durability and fatigue. So wherein you are estimating the life of the component for how many years or for how many cycles your product can withstand the load acting on the component. So image here uh, shows uh, assessment of fatigue life for a dental implant uh, under cyclic loading of uh, typical uh, chewing and biting activities. So once uh, the simulation workflow has been tuned to a specific application, it can be captured and distributed to the other members 
in an organization uh, wherein uh, like uh, to facilitate the uh, best practices and uh, increase the productivity so moreover uh, design sensitivity analysis can be conducted to identify the key parameters which can then be tuned for optimal product performance so we can use eyesight for the uh, for the process automation and optimization now we have uh, virtual human modeling uh, like uh, which is like uh, to facilitate the modeling and the simulation of human body from physical and uh, like a, a physiological perspective this uh, virtual uh, human modeling of the product in a human body are uh, like uh, are increasingly valuable like uh, improving the safety or efficacy and uh, reliability of all forms of medical devices and consumer products so all of these uh, solutions are delivered under 3d experience platform which provides uh, capabilities for uh, simulation data management or uh, collaboration and uh, visualization as well as like integrate solutions from simulia to those of other brands simulia has got uh, particular expertise uh, and technology for modeling biomechanics of implants so we can see uh, we can see on the screen like a uh, orthopedic uh, implant uh, uh, like uh, uh, in this case uh, shown here uh, simulia has uh, developed uh, like uh, lower and upper extremity muscular skeletal system models uh, that can be uh, like uh, that can represent a wide uh, range of human motions or to understand and improve the performance of hip knee ankle or shoulder implants these models uh, can be tuned to p a particular subjects or uh, to like a physical dimensions or uh, bone density gait characteristics and other biometric variables when it comes to dental imp implants like uh, as shown uh, on the screen uh, we can see like a model uh, like a uh, the long term behavior of bone uh, by complex uh, effects such as bone loss and uh, regeneration can occur in response to your uh, stresses that are induced by the implant so such analysis have been conducted to design more uh, efficient uh, product and which can preserve long term integrity of uh, bone and uh, minimize the further surgical intervention multi physics in uh, conjunction with your uh, virtual human modeling technique uh, have also been applied in uh, uh, designing component like uh, hearing aids that you are seeing on the screen so wherein uh, like uh, we have done a vibroacoustics like to in order to uh, estimate the vibroacoustic characteristics of the device uh, that uh, that should be in line with the patient's anatomy so we have used a virtual human modeling uh, to develop this device so in the similar fashion uh, virtual human modeling uh, has been used for uh, mri equipment uh, wherein uh, devices uh, device makers or uh, designers should uh, uh, should make sure they have to make sure that the level of radiation exposure and uh, inducting heat into human tissue are within the established safe radius and finally uh, like uh, we have chosen two other examples uh, from like outside the uh, traditional life sciences domain uh, since uh, they are increasingly relevant in this area as well so the first example uh, involves your uh, the like a traumatic uh, brain injury of a repeated head impact so uh, so uh, this majorly like uh, implies or uh, uh, applies to your cricket players or other athletes uh, like uh, we see a major uh, brain injuries for the uh, athletes and so on so to facilitate uh, these analysis high resolution models of human head and uh, brain were developed and can also be used uh, to design the placement of sensors on and or like uh, under the scalp and can monitor the effectiveness of uh, treatments or like uh, like or with uh, patients who are who are suffering with uh, epilepsy or other neurological disorders same idea also applies uh, to your uh, clothing design application which is shown here a uh, detailed uh, understanding of the physical interaction between garment and uh, body is more important it is not only just for uh, comfort but also to design your uh, like uh, to design a uh, sensors uh, sensors that are embedded into your clothing which can then be used uh, to monitor your heart rates or uh, pulse breathing and other biometric variables of interest to your uh, medical devices or your drug makers 
in uh, pharmaceutical segment uh, simulation is being used uh, to uh, understand and improve the process involved in manufacturing packaging and delivery of drugs so first in porosity and uh, density distribution in medication tablets strongly determines their physical integrity and similar solutions are being used to model workflows involved in tablet manufacturing generally like uh, to my experience like uh, we have seen a powder compaction modeling uh, analysis that is uh, uh, done uh, using a backers so moreover uh, material mixing and transportation processes will exhibit your uh, complex uh, mechanical and uh, uh, thermal behaviors that again uh, like it depend on your uh, particle size or shape or coating and so on so drug makers need to understand like exactly like uh, which parameter uh, is uh, like which parameters are more important or, or or they should understand which parameters are affecting your product efficacy and usability so therefore simulation is playing a important role or we can say like a simulation has a central importance in this area as i mentioned earlier like uh, like it's no longer enough to develop uh, safe and efficacy therapeutics so drug makers must also provide a satisfactory patient experience which in turn like means uh, like uh, paying attention to product packaging and delivery so here on the screen we can see a multi physics simulation for uh, thermoforming of uh, blister packs and uh, subsequent uh, moisture and oxygen diffusion are like you know it is very much necessary to minimize your product uh, degradation and also like uh, enhance your uh, user experience and uh, several drugs are uh, delivered like we know that uh, several drugs are delivered through your disposable syringes or your peristaltic uh, uh, pump like uh, both of which uh, here it involves your nonlinear material behavior as well as your fluid structure interaction so in this cases we have a backers uh, we have a good customer like a, we uh, in our database itself we have a customer wherein they use a backers uh, for their uh, syringe designs uh, or uh, this uh, peristaltic pump design and so on so having uh, briefly covered uh, the use of uh, simulation in medical device and pharma let us now discuss on a topic called combination products yes so essentially this combination uh, uh, products are uh, uh, like are the products that are uh, comprised of two or more regulated components and sit at intersection of your medical devices and pharma this definition uh, like uh, will uh, encompasses uh, the wide range of products like as you can see on the screen on the right hand side uh, ranging from your uh, infusion pumps uh, to inhalers to transdermal patches to stents or to catheters so as you can see the graph from the graph also like you can see that these products have a substantial market presence and are like forecasted to go rapidly in the next 5 to 10 years which also reflects in the increasing interest uh, which we see from our uh, customers today from a simulation perspective many of these products use similar uh, multi physics simulation tools that we have already discussed so let us look few interesting examples that make use of multi scale multi physics and uh, virtual human modeling there are many ways uh, one can discuss the use of simulation for these products but probably convenient to think of simulation like as a tool that uh, that helps uh, the drug and the device maker realize uh, the key objectives so as a designers we are mostly concerned with uh, your uh, product integrity and reliability like uh, i know like uh, it, it's of course that uh, uh, that is applied to any product including your combination products so however we also need to account for safety and efficacy of these products which is typically required for uh, regulatory approval and they have to enter into the market with a good success rate uh, again all these things again depends on your portability ease of use and comfort so actually uh, apart from the images that sh uh, shown here uh, like uh, multi physics and uh, human modeling have a central role in designing successful products so now i'll uh, present a global case studies uh, from life sciences first comes your uh, drug field injectors 
drug filled uh, syringes or injectors are uh, essentially like uh, uh, the files or the uh, that contains a specific qu a quantity of medication and it's a, uh, and it has got a mechanism for injecting that uh, medication into the body so like we can list a few po performance metrics where uh, designers of such products need to target so these could uh, include uh, metrics like uh, ease of administration uh, by the pa uh, patient uh, permission and uh, depend uh, and again it all depends on your uh, product weight shape fluid uh, fluid pressure or fluid system and so on so uh, like typically uh, the engineering metrics includes uh, like a minimize your leakage or maximize durability uh, or uh, rapid uh, drug delivery or effective drug diffusion and finally which is more important for all uh, uh, the product development who are into like a uh, uh, development of this uh, kind of injectors they should make sure that the the f most important uh, quality uh, should be like uh, patient should uh, discomfort should be minimized which again in turn depends on your needle design and location of injections so these are the few metrics that will uh, differentiate uh, the company in the market this set of package is uh, just a one way of looking at this problem but it offers a start point to drive simulation requirements so from our experience with this class of devices we have organized uh, simulation requirements into four workflows one is device integrity fluid device interaction needle penetration drug diffusion so let us quickly uh, go through all the metrics device integrity so we consider that uh, like a, a structural integrity of the product as well as propensity for leakage structural integrity involves your uh, like uh, simulating the device under various loads finding out the high stress regions where, and identify where it is uh, going to fail and uh, check for the high strains or high stress regions and so on similarly we can also model uh, the damage initiation and evolution during penetration process so that you can optimize the design and determine the right labeling for regulatory approval in order to understand uh, ceiling integrity designers can avail uh, uh, like a well developed simulation workflows like you can see on the screen it's a like you know uh, it's a eyesight workflow it's a well established workflow that begins with your uh, axisymmetric contact analysis of syringe in plunger and progress all the way through full three-dimensional leakage simulations involving your idealized uh, fluid representations like your uh, pressure penetrations uh, or equation of state materials and so on so such analysis can be used to optimize uh, the geometric and uh, parametric properties in a quick and automated manner using eyesight fluid device interaction which is a key thing or a key role uh, for uh, uh, simulations like this on the screen we can see a fluid uh, device interaction so uh, if uh, we uh, do such uh, interactions to understand how overall drug device system performs so we are seeing uh, increasing usage of this uh, 3d uh, like uh, fluid structure interaction uh, simulations so that uh, it will it is helping them to optimize uh, the syringe and needle design uh, because for specific drug uh, the needle size will be different or the syringe uh, size will be different so in order to obtain this uh, desired uh, design outflow velocity or force displacement characteristics and to minimize the leakage we are doing a uh, fluid structure uh, interaction simulations very much effectively using simulia backers so we are also seeing an increased usage of uh, simulation in filling or packaging of vials and other drug filled injection devices needle penetration yes uh, in order to make sure that patient is having a, a or in order to make sure to, to minimize the patient discomfort needle plays a vital role or needle penetration plays a vital role but before that needle penetration uh, like you can see on the left hand side there is a image of a skin the like a human skin is a highly non linear anisotropic multi layered tissue 
whose characteristics again depends on your age body mass index moisture content and other variables so simulia plays a vital role in order to cover or in order to overcome these issues like uh, because we have a uh, multiple material models library already built inside a backers uh, uh, which we can use uh, to build your skin like material properties so for instance on the uh, like on the screen you can see animation uh, on the right hand side uh, that we can see a large deformation of the skin as well as uh, capturing the multiple peaks and drops in reaction forces as needle penetrates into layers we can uh, see that the peaks and drops of the reaction forces once drug is introduced into body it must have right dispersion behavior because there are some drugs uh, that are designed to permeate uh, the tissue widely and some others such as like your uh, botox botox are intended to remain in relatively small region for a specific amount of time so precise control of drug over a region requires your like a modeling of your morphological and biophysical characteristics of skin that is in conjunction with your device drug system so in particular uh, skin layers can have a variable porosity and permeability that will like uh, uh, determine your fluid diffusion in the skin which in turn again uh, will modify your boundary conditions of uh, your needle penetration and uh, fluid injection problems so we have a complete solution for this complex bidirectional multiphysics so let us conclude this example by noting few more complexities uh, different uh, like uh, we have uh, different medications are applied at uh, different angles so which affect the fluid flow in syringes and needle skin penetration so simulia has an extensive library of material models for different uh, tissue types that includes your skin fat and so on for uh, different loading scenarios such as your tension compression penetration etc so this greatly simplifies uh, the task of a, a drug delivery system designer who may not uh, like uh, you know uh, he doesn't have uh, expertise in skin modeling or the right experimental setup to calibrate the properties of the skin so before uh, we move to our uh, next example i do want uh, to draw your attention uh, to a set which has been created and maintained by life sciences industry team called uh, iaso it is really a showcase of the life cycle of a combination product from upstream thinking to commercialization using a 3d experience platform and using a brand the technologies like petia simulia in order to demonstrate a core value of the platform in the sense like a, the end to end digital continuity and integrity so it's a good example for the life sciences organizations which uh, showcases the complete end to end digital continuity and data integrity so i'll uh, show you uh, like i'll play one uh, small video uh, wherein uh, it, it shows uh, the complete workflow of the uh, of this device which is uh, from oncology uh, department uh, and is used to and it is uh, used to make sure the uh, i think everyone can see my screen the life sciences industry is undergoing a paradigm shift towards large molecule biologics and the required high volume injectors to deliver them with the global market for biologics growing to 375 billion dollars by 2022 the market opportunity for large volume injectable devices alone is estimated to be $8 billion by 2025, and biological drugs now account for more than 40% of pharmaceutical R&D pipeline. These novel biologic solutions, dosed with connected, wearable, and reusable delivery devices, are transforming the patient experience by shifting the point of care from the clinic to the patient's home. Named for the Greek goddess of recovery, IASO is a showcase for the life cycle of a combination product in oncology. From upstream thinking through commercialization, IASO demonstrates the value that Dassault System and the 3D experience can deliver to stakeholders challenged with bringing innovation to market in the form of combination products and transforming the patient experience. 
The IASO Showcase features collaborative design, delivering market and competitive intelligence to prototyping and validation, therapeutics design and development, accelerating drug design with unified predictive science, device design and development, leveraging 3D design, collaborative engineering, and simulation, manufacturing excellence, reimagining engineering operations and commercialization, and enterprise operational excellence, featuring the 3D experience as a platform to expedite product innovation and manage regulatory and quality activities, providing a true 360-degree view of the product. So uh, that was a excellent uh, video uh, taken from uh, IASO. Uh, like uh, using 3D experience platform, uh, like uh, they have uh, developed this component by connecting end-to-end -end, uh, departments. In the sense, like uh, we have seen, like uh, from CAD, it went to CE, and again manufacturing, and then your operational. So all the teams are effectively working together. So in particular within this framework like uh, simulia has contributed uh, significantly to the device design development uh, aspect uh, like uh, in, in the sense like uh, simulia uh, is contributed uh, in terms of like uh, we have used it for drop testing or fluid structure interaction of uh, drug delivery system and uh, we have product called a CST, which is used for electromagnetic simulations for antenna placement and human safety, like you can see on uh, upper right image. And uh, high fidelity device can interaction simulation for reliability and patient discomfort. So the bottom image uh, shows that. So uh, using 3D experience platform, we can connect everyone in our industry and uh, we can monitor the progress of our project that has been handled so let's uh, now move on to second example uh, drug eluting stents uh, i think we are already like uh, taking more time so i'll quickly run through this uh, uh, small example so drug uh, eluting stent uh, i know like uh, uh, stents are essentially a thin tiny metallic uh, mesh like tubes that are implanted into arteries so uh, like uh, to avoid or to promote uh, structural support and uh, facilitate your your uh, uh, blood circulation but uh, you know like uh, but over time like uh, clotting might occur around the stent so thereby uh, that increases or that leads to the risk of uh, thrombosis and often again okay, necessitating uh, for restenosis surgery so to prevent uh, this uh, likelihood of this stents are uh, sometimes coated with drugs that prevent your restaurant so many companies are working towards uh, drug eluting stents and uh, and uh, the presence of this drug that makes the stent a combination product so let's start off with a realistic uh, material behavior stents can be made from high grade stainless steel or from complex alloys such as uh, nitinol so as you can see from the graph on the right uh, like a nitinol exhibit a complex temperature dependent behavior involving phase transition and superplasticity. Simulia offers a nitinol material model as a part of its uh, extensive material library and this model is used uh, widely and it's constantly approved. So in addition to skin, uh, we must also account for the behavior of uh, tissues surrounding the stent. So you can see on the screen, the arterial wall is uh, comprised of concentric layers of tissue with uh, hyperelastic, viscoelastic behavior, and especially wearing a uh, fiber orientation and mechanical fiber. So as a part of a uh, tissue library, uh, Simulia has uh, developed uh, high fidelity models of uh, human arteries and other cardiovascular system that can be used uh, to study the stent artery mechanical interaction the next challenging is uh, like uh, to model the environmental conditions like uh, under which like uh, the stent uh, should perform uh, what we call is a uh, in vivo dynamic loading so the first step in this model is deployment process uh, which typically begins with uh, simulation of the crimping uh, when the stent is uh, contracted uh, radially to fit onto the delivery uh, catheter so once crimped the expansion of strength is then simulated 
the next step in in vivo loading is to model the uh, stent under operational loads uh, because uh, uh, like a pulsatile loading may be like uh, sufficient like uh, in some cases like it is clear that the location of stent greatly influences the loading experiences so for instance uh, peripheral stents may be subjected to significant arterial uh, deformation as a patient uh, goes out uh, to do his uh, everyday activities like jogging walking and so on so on the on the left hand side we can see the figure where uh, improper stand design may reduce your local blood circulation so using virtual human modeling technology and living heart model it is now possible for stent manufacturers to better understand the uh, the real world uh, real uh, in vivo loads uh, experienced by the designer so once a cyclic loading on the stent has been computed we can estimate its fatigue life so here is a graph for a goodman plot of fatigue life of a coronary stent so as we saw earlier simulia provides tools uh, for process automation and uh, optimization the entire workflow uh, discussed so far can be easily automated uh, using eyesight so in this case uh, like a uh, we can see both the parametric and the shape optimization have been used to increase fatigue life by about 14 percent over the initial baseline design so now uh, like a cardiovascular devices such as tens can cause a damage to your arterial wall on long-term basis so it's often necessary to understand the hemodynamic impact of the stent on the uh, like uh, arterial wall so uh, like uh, which again uh, over the time it leads to wall thickening and uh, uh, rupturing especially in case of aneurysm so uh, we can uh, like on the right side uh, we can see an animation of a uh, blood flow velocity vectors uh, that is done using a uh, xflow software so we can use the same approach uh, to understand the flow behavior in the vicinity of the stent and examine the fluid structure interaction of uh, your blood flow and the arterial wall so that you can estimate the probability of the device that is causing the long-term problems so finally uh, we can also model the delivery of the drug from uh, like a stent uh, because we are talking uh, about your drug eluting stent so we should also know the like a delivery of the drug from the stent so uh, which it, it accounts for both uh, your pressure driven diffusion into arterial wall and the connected flow of blood so image on the top right shows the concentration of drug in the arterial wall as a function of time. So by considering the permeability and metabolic uh, dissociation of drug within the tissue, it's also possible you to uh, compute the overall volume of drug in the stent and the tissue. So as can be seen in the graph uh, in the bottom right, uh, you can see like uh, the while uh, drug concentration in the stent uh, decreases steadily like uh, down to uh, zero and the concentration in the artery initially rises and then begins to decay as the drug diffuses out of the artery so we have seen how uh, simulation address the key performance metrics in the drug eluting so this is a beautiful case study uh, wherein uh, uh, like uh, we have a doctor called uh, venkat subramanyam uh, like uh, he he has uh, he he uh, like it is from a uh, nimhans uh, i think you are already aware of uh, nimhans it's a it is in uh, located in uh, bangalore so it's a case study what uh, we have taken from this uh, generally like a uh, nimhans uh, like uh, they maximum work on neurological disorders such as like a uh, depression obsessive uh, compulsive disorder or migraine etc so for all these uh, disorders uh, a deep brain stimulation is used which is again a painful and uh, high risk uh, brain surgery so and this was replaced by a new form of non invasive neurostimulation called transcranial direct current stimulation so in which simulia applicus application is used for the treatment of like variety of uh, clinical conditions so all these simulations has been carried out using a uh, simulia abacus because in abacus we have extensive material model library uh, with respect to your skin modeling or with respect to your artery modeling and so on so in this similar fashion we have for capabilities to model your brain so the huge benefits uh, from this uh, stimulation is like uh, to predict uh, the current uh, distribution with the uh, high resolution or 
to allow for the patient specific treatment and uh, uh, to facilitate uh, your parameter sensitivity analysis and so on so it is being used by clinicians in an interactive real time manner so that we can uh, we uh, we can reduce or we can avoid the brain surgery or we can which is more uh, painful for the patient so in order to avoid these things uh, they have used the backers and they have come up with a strategy to see the uh, how simulations are helpful for their uh, product so with that uh, i would like to conclude uh, today's webinar uh, with a few closing comments so in today's talk uh, we focused on uh, combination products uh, or like uh, simulia in uh, life sciences or simulia in medical devices or pharma bio, uh, bio segment and uh, so on so like uh, we have looked at uh, how uh, multi scale simulation and uh, virtual human modeling uh, can help us to improve the product safety and efficacy but however uh, there is much more to the story as i'm sure that you know uh, like a drug and device makers are investing heavily uh, uh, in your uh, uh, iot or wearables or artificial intelligence in an effort to uh, like monitor how their patients are responding to the therapy and to deliver more personalized care so we believe that uh, these pro approaches and the model based data driven uh, like all these like uh, based on these requirements like uh, dassault systems are uh, uh, developing a 3d experience platform to support uh, this ambitious paradigm uh, in close collaboration with uh, partners and customers and so on so let me conclude uh, with a few takeaways uh, it is clear that combination products constitute an important fast and growing market segment and uh, i also hope that you would agree with us that multi physics multi scale modeling and virtual human modeling are uh, critical in design of safe and effective and uh, like you have to come up with uh, successful products so uh, and finally like uh, we believe that dassault systems and eds technologies have a unique set of technology technology is from dassault systems and technical experience from eds technologies in this exciting new area and are committed to help you to succeed with that i'd like to thank you very much for your attention